All right, this was not part of the plan today. I was back over there at a park and it started to downpour. Not only downpour, but it's like freezing rain. If you know what that is, I'll show you soon. So there's a bridge over here. I'm actually gonna go underneath it, right around there. I'm gonna go under, should have probably, should have probably checked the weather to be honest. All right, I'm gonna get under there. I packed up all my stuff and just booked it for here. I'm gonna run back and get, I left my camera gear on a fishing rod, I think. So I'm gonna drop off my stuff here. Hold on, it's super, super icy, I'm trying not to fall. Like all the snow just accumulated here. Okay. Crampons would not have been a bad idea. camp there last I checked the weather it was pretty mild it was gonna be like four or five degrees so I didn't bring a tarp I just brought a sleeping bag a sleeping pad and I was gonna sleep my plan was to sleep on a picnic bench obviously that didn't happen I should have probably checked the weather again closer today to today but yeah we'll make the best of it so I'm actually directly underneath I don't know if you can hear me I'm directly underneath the Trans Canada Highway last time I did that little stealth camp try to give you guys an image that one that island there that's the island I slept on and I did make a fire because I'm pretty sure they would have seen it from the highway and I do plan on it's just hard to coordinate this that one? no that one that's the bigger one I wanted to walk to but I wasn't sure about the ice I plan on kayaking there soon so Maybe in a month I'll wait for the water to warm up a bit. Maybe not though. Maybe do a little hot tent on the island. We'll see. So, I'm under here. I'm out of the rain. Now my next obstacle is finding an area to sleep. I have two options. I'm not crazy about either. As you can see, it's all rocks. It's all just rocks. There is one dry area right here. Not ideal, but I think Hold on. there's one opening in the bridge that lets all the water through. I think I'm gonna go for this. I don't know how high the, I don't wanna say tide, but I guess the tide comes in. And let me show you. I would put my head on the slanted part there. There we go. I'll put my head on the slanted part. And it looks like I have about eight foot before the water. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. In fact, let me get a rock. Here we go. That's more just to, wa uh, to mark where the water is. If I see it gets much closer or passes that, I won't sleep there. Otherwise, that's my spot. And we're not gonna drink the beer yet, or I should say the beers, because they're not cold. Got them right here. One of the benefits of this ice and this cold weather back for that. Alright, I'm gonna get set up a little bit. 
Gonna get some coffee going, and then we'll be back. Clearly, I'm not the first one with this idea. I just found a fire pit here. Fortunately, I didn't bring anything to make a fire with, but it's too bad. That would've been nice. I, I don't know how legal it would be, but it would be nice. Okay, it's not the first time I've knocked one over and it still comes out pretty good. I'm gonna go for a little walk. I'll get a bit wet, but it's all right. I'm gonna go for a walk and show you what guys what freezing rain actually looks like. Cause from here, I mean, it just looks like, just looks like rain, but it's terrible for the trees, the power lines, all that stuff. Let me get there. First of all, it makes all the rocks super slippery to get there. So much garbage here too. It's terrible how much garbage just gets washed up on shore. Oh yeah, and the highway is literally right there. Let's see if I can get a shot of something drive by. There you go. There you go, that confirmed highway. All right, so freezing rain is basically rain that, that freezes over. It's right at the freezing point. So the rain falling is liquid, and the minute it hits a tree or anything, it just freezes over. but it's also really bad for the trees because it's way too much weight and they tend to fall over. All right, coffee should be, water should be boiling right, right now. So I'm gonna get back and warm up my hands a bit. Uh, and I just got back and the wind knocked it over again. Should have known better, but I guess we're having beer instead. All right, I apologize for that. I forgot I was filming for a moment and I started enjoying my beer by the water. This is today's beer. St. Amboise Maple. They're a microbrewery in, I don't even know if they consider a microbrewery actually, they're pretty big. But they're a brewery in Montreal. They're right by, right by the canal, right by the water. They're really nice to harass. If you're ever in that area, highly recommend checking them out. And cheers everyone. So the reason why I have two beers today, 
is because I just hit 500 subs and I just wanted to say thanks to anyone who subbed, like commented, watched the video, any of that. Very appreciated. Cheers guys. saying I'm not a very good fisherman still a work in progress and there are two reasons for the fishing rod one is so I could just fish past the time and two I'm not allowed to camp here but I am allowed to fish here so if anyone comes by and asks what I'm doing I'm just fishing it's also why I'm gonna wait until it's very late to set up my bed which by the way the water I set up some rocks let me get back there All right, so I have settled on this area here. I set up a little barricade of rocks, not to block the water, but be more of an indicator where the water line is. So it's gone up a little bit, but it's been a few hours. I'm not too concerned. My head's going to be up on that rock, which is great because I did not bring a pillow. And I should end up like around there. So I'm okay with this. Luckily, I brought my big sleeping bag. For whatever reason, I got lucky and put in a big winter sleeping bag today, so I'll be okay outside. Yeah, dinner time now.
days like today is to remove every single wet layer you have. So in, today I have my jacket and I change my socks. I always change my socks just because they build up moisture, humidity. You don't feel it, but you'll feel it when you get to bed. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for joining in everyone. I will see you in the next one.